can you actually be double jointed? It's an odd question because you first have to ask, what does double jointed actually mean? The term itself sounds like you might have twice as many joints as normal. Or maybe it means that you have a special double joint that's more flexible than the rest. Sadly, double jointedness doesn't come with extra body parts. It actually means that you're born unusually flexible. Physicians call it joint hypermobility or hypermobility syndrome and it comes in two main forms. Either the collagen in the ligaments that connects your bones is looser than most, which explains how some people can touch their thumb to their forearm, or your bones are actually shaped differently, especially the ones in places like your shoulders and hips, which have ball and socket joints. Hypermobile people tend to have shallower sockets, which means they can do things like dislocate their shoulder without pain, or bend down and touch the floor with their palms without practice. This sort of inherent flexibility can be extremely advantageous for certain athletes, dancers, and musicians. But studies have shown that it may also come with a price. First, it seems to take a toll on the body, raising a person's risk of knee sprains, ankle sprains, and osteoarthritis of the hands and shoulders. But a growing body of research also suggests it can affect the mind. One study in 1998 found that patients with anxiety were 16 times more likely to also have hypermobile joints. This could be because the loose collagen in many hypermobile people affects blood flow. Blood will more likely accumulate in the legs, which puts more stress on the heart for circulation and pushes the body to the verge of fight or flight, which means it takes very little to induce anxiety or panic. Psychiatrist Jessica Eccles of the University of Sussex says, Joint hypermobility has an impact on the whole body and not just joints. An estimated 3-20% to 20 of the population is hypermobile or double-jointed.